welcome back everyone so in previous two videos we have discussed a lot about if and else statements and how we how can we use in in a keyword and or or operators inside the if and else functions so in today in this video we'll be moving ahead and we'll look about how can we use uh, if and else statement inside else that is known as a nested if else statements and uh, what are if elif else statements so without any further delay let's get started with the video okay so uh you know you all know that uh, this is how uh, api gravity classification looks like right that light any uh, any crude oil with api gravity greater than 31.1 will come under as a light oil at 22.2 22.3 .2, to 31.1 will be considered as medium and so on and so on so uh, to classify these statements what we we'll, what we are going to do in today's video is we are asking a user to input a api gravity of crude oil okay and we'll we'll make a function we'll write a code in such a way that um, whatever the input whatever input whatever in value of api he gives so it will automatically classify the oil as a light medium or heavy okay so let's just ignore extra heavy oil for uh, once so let us uh, carry on with the categories light of medium and heavy just ignore the extra heavy for right now okay so uh, we want to uh, we want to classify the api right so for that first we need to ask user uh, a question so let's say i'll store that uh, question in a variable known as api only small api okay and this api is equals to what it is doing is it is asking input what it does uh, what is the api of crude oil right so it is it will enter some number uh, it, let's say it is it is going to enter some uh, uh, of uh, decimal number but uh, but you all know that input function what it does is what input function does is that it will always store a value in string no matter what you input are giving so let's convert it uh, into a float type already so by default that it will convert this string into a float type now we have a our answer is stored in the variable name api right now we need to write further uh, code so that it classifies it automatically so what i'm saying is uh, what i'm doing is what i write if statement that uh, if my if api is greater than 31.1 okay if uh, api is greater than 31.1 what i uh, what i'm going to print is that uh, crude oil is of sorry we will write just write uh, light crude oil okay now inside the else now we'll go for else statements but inside else we'll also but uh, as we have seen till now what we have seen is that inside else we've just written uh, the statement uh, relating to the else statement but inside else also we can now create further two categories here because we have a category of medium and heavy as well right so we want to we don't want to ignore the category of medium and heavy so what i am going to do is inside the else function inside the else i'll write if statement that if uh, my api is uh, let's say less than 31.1 and greater than 22.3 if this is true then print what is what, what i'm going to print is medium crude oil okay and inside this f else now we can write is else apart from these two category now i write print mm, i'll write heavy crude oil so this what this code is meaning it is taking as an input it is converting into a float type now it is check it will check the condition if api will be greater than 31.1 it will uh, give us the output of light crude oil and inside else we have further two categories that if it is uh, between 22.3 and 31.1 it will give a medium crude oil and apart from any of the above conditions if 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 both of the conditions are false then it will print as a heavy crude oil so let's just execute the uh, code so it is asking me the crude oil 
API of Fluido. Let's say I type 35. So uh, he is giving me an input of that it is a light crude oil. Okay, I'll I'll copy this code and rerun in the next cell. Now this time what I do is I write a value of 25. So it should give me medium crude oil. It is giving me a medium. Again I'll rewrite this and I'll execute again. Now this time I'll write any value which is not in both of the conditions that is which is not inside the condition of API greater than 31.1 and uh, API uh, greater than less than 31.1 and greater than 22.3. So what I can go is let's say I write 10. So it is giving me a heavy crude oil. So this is how we can use a nested if else statement. But instead of using nested if else statements, uh, we can go for uh, the execution of if elif and else statements. So elif, uh, I'll show you how elif statements are being used. So whenever we have multiple conditions, we prefer to use elif. So everything is going to be fine as it is here till now. Uh, till this, everything is uh, great. But now instead of elif, you will write the condition of, uh, instead of else, you will write the elif. And after elif, just write the condition. Uh, what your condition should be that this and uh, after this one, what you need to do is okay, I have uh, this one, and this will give me the print medium oil. Right now again you can write a new condition that is again elif just write the condition now this time condition will be uh, you can just write this condition let's include this condition as well uh, this will uh, this will print heavy just write heavy i'm not writing heavy crude oil and then you can write just go for else means if 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 it is not in the category of all the three then it will write print and then i'll write print if it is not in uh, any of the three categories then definitely it is a extra heavy oil right extra heavy oil let's execute this now check the code let's say i write uh, i write 20 sorry 39 let's say well check all the this is showing me a uh, light crude oil which is correct now let's check for 25 it is showing me a medium which is correct now now let's go for uh, 13 it is showing me okay Achha, okay i have to uh, because our variable is api small which is small api not the capitals i'll have to rerun it again now let's say i write 13 so it will show me heavy now if i write if i write anything which is not uh, in the above categories let's say i write five so it will definitely go for with the else block that is extra heavy so this is how uh, if elif and else statement works uh, this is an assignment for you this is the assignment number seventh this is assignment number seven for you you know uh, that there are uh, different kind of structures cubic lattice structure hexagonal lattice rhombohedral and tetragonal in each of these scenarios uh, there is a maximum porosity which, which achievable uh, maximum porosity in the case of cubic lattice 0.476 is the maximum achievable porosity so i mentioned all the maximum porosities of uh, related to each lattice now what you have to do is just use the uh, if elif and uh, else program create a variable that is asking for the value of maximum porosity okay and you you have to uh, just remember you have to input any four of them okay and then create a program for checking if it is either of above and just print that it is a cubical packing if it hexagon hexagonal which whatever it is rhombohedral or tetragonal just print a statement and if you haven't entered any of the four above values then uh, also include that part in your code that if it is not anyone among them then the print the statement this kind of packing does not match any of the options given so uh, do this assignment and uh, please tag us on the uh, linkedin by the name of petroleum from scratch and yes this is uh, it for today's video i'll see you in the next lecture thank you for joining